Hi friends, it's Mixed Media Monday and I'm Rita Bearcat here with you and I have some very fun underwater stuff happening today. It was a beautiful day here today and uh, the weather was so nice, just reminded me of mermaids and the beach and that kind of stuff. So that inspired our project for tonight, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, so anyways, um, as always, you can type your messages below and your questions and I can see them. Hello, hello, yay, I'm already getting hearts. Awesome. And I will answer them live or I will answer them after the broadcast if for some reason I miss them or you are posting them on the replay. So hello to my replay viewers as well. And again, this is Mixed Media Monday, yay! So welcome, welcome, and welcome everybody who is popping on. And I always forget to say, share this video. If you have crafty friends or artsy friends, or even those who dabble just a little bit, um, share the love, share with them, they will thank you. Hello, hello, hi Mary, hi guys. All right, so uh, it is time to look at what I have on my desk, and I have a lot, so let's get started, all right? All right, here we go. Oop. All right, now I'm gonna turn this other light on, and you can see I've got some embossing patterns. I've got some stamps. This is the sign from last week that we did, so if you missed last week's Mixed Media Monday video, you want to check that one out. Um, let me set that one aside. And tonight we are working on this really fun shells, this shell project. And I've got my powders out for you guys to check out. So let me know if you have any questions. All right, here we go. So I've pulled four of my magical mysteries embossing powders out. Um, I found this really cool, um, it's a chipboard piece. I found this and I thought it was a super cool shape. Of course, you know how it goes. I went back to go to try to get some more because I'm like, oh, this would be a fun class. Um, but of course, they didn't have any. So I did a pour on top of this and I used a folk art marbling paint and... I'm sure that you've seen those pouring videos all over the internet these days. And we've done even a pour here on Mixed Media Monday. So I used three colors. And I needed this to be dry for what I wanted to do tonight. So I went ahead and did that ahead of time. I also wanted to see if it would stick because um, on the back, and even on the front, it's it's pretty slick of a surface, but you can see the marbling paint stick, stuck really well. And then I wanted to see if you could emboss on top of it, and you can, so that's awesome. I love that. So we are going to, whoops, I've got an echo going on. There we go. Okay, so hello, hi, Daniel. So... I wanted to see if this could be done, and it can. So it was a super slick surface. I didn't coat it with anything. I just went ahead and did the pour right on top of paint, and it worked beautifully, and I was also able to stamp on top of it, which is what we're gonna be doing tonight. But I wanted to talk about double dipping. And you're going, what? What's double dipping, you asked? I'm so glad you asked that question. <laughs> I know I'm just kind of talking to myself, um, but that's okay. Double dipping, we're going to do two colors of embossing powder. Let's see if I can get you a little closer. Two colors of embossing powder, thank you for the hearts, on top of, um, well, not on top of one another, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to... I'm gonna stamp this with the VersaClear, VersaVine Clear. And this is my jellyfish stamp with Technique Junkies. And I'm just going to stamp that really quickly. And we are going to stamp this. 
probably would have helped if I didn't move, but you know, whatever. It all works. It all works out in the end, right? So this one is the Kiss of the Fairy. And if you were doing it on a white surface, looks like this. What is cool about the Kiss of the Fairy is that it glows in the dark teal. So I just kind of spilled right there because I was trying to do two different things at once. So I'm just going to cover part of this jellyfish. So I'm calling this a double dip. So one stamp, we're going to do two different colors. And we're going to do the bottom with Midnight Magic. And Midnight Magic has two colors in it. So you want to make sure that you either shake out that jar or, you know, if you have it like me and you have it in a bowl, you know, just make sure that you shake that up a bit because it does tend to settle and then it doesn't mix. And what is cool, so this is the Kiss of the Fairy, right, on a white background. If you were just doing a solid, and you can see this is the Midnight Magic, which has blue and black specks. But what is cool about this one is this one also glows in the dark. So I wanted to do these with the glow in the dark powders because I thought how cool would it be to have this scene and you know hey it looks cool during the day whatever but then to have it hanging in a room and then all of a sudden at night it glows in the dark I thought that would be pretty cool so I did the top half with the kiss of the fairy the bottom half with midnight magic so those are the two so these two are the ones that glow in the dark so let's heat this one up. And feel free to talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Hi, Danielle. I've got two Danielles on tonight. Awesome. So we're going right on top. Hi, Missy. Sorry, I saw a spot over there that wasn't melted, so I wanted to make sure I heat set it. So it might be hard to tell in the video, but it is two colors. It looks really cool. And of course you would get a different effect on it if, hi Cynthia, yeah, RFKC. Um, it would be, it would get a different effect if you are using maybe a clear color, then you might get more of the pink on the background, then it looking a little bit darker, but I kind of like it because the Kiss of the Fairy, so this one, the Kiss of the Fairy powder, it has um, this kind of like a holographic, dual tone kind of thing going on. So it looks really cool on the black. And of course you can't really see that in the video, but it's not just, so it's not just a pink, it has kind of a blue pink thing going on. I'm moving that so hoping that maybe you can see it. I don't know if you can, but um, you know, some, some things are harder to see on a video than in person. Even in a picture, sometimes you can't get a great photo, but that's okay. That's all right. All right, so now let's do the bottom half with our Midnight Magic. 
and this stays this particular ink you want to make sure you're using a pigment ink so it will say on there it will say pigment ink or it will say um, there are hybrid inks those work too uh, but if it just says a uh, dye ink that's not going to hold your embossing powders okay you need something the embossing powder needs something to grab onto and so that pigment ink it stays sticky until you either heat set it, right? Or you put something on top of it and melt it like embossing powder or glitter or something. Okay, hi Renee. All right, so now we're gonna melt this one. And I'm gonna do that a little closer to you guys. Maybe you guys can see it better. As soon as you see it melting, you need to move that heat source. Okay, so just, you know, you can just concentrate on a part at the time and then you can know, okay, it's time to move on because it's melted in that area. And it doesn't have to be perfect because if you, let's say you go and, um, I don't know, you miss a spot or something and you notice later that it wasn't melted all the way, not a problem. You can always go back and do it and do it again. All right, let's do, we'll do one more jellyfish and then I want to move on to some, I want to move, move on to the clam and I want to move on to the uh, let's do this right here. Hopefully it will work. There were some words on this, so it has a little bit of texture. So hopefully, oh, and it worked still. It's pretty good. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to work perfectly, like on paper. Okay, again, we're doing the kiss of the fairy on the top. So this is my line with... Emerald Creek and this stamp is my line with Technique Junkies. And you can find these all in my shop. I have these in my Etsy shop and Margie is so kind to put those links up for me because she is the boss. She's awesome. Alright. So the fairy and now again Midnight Magic, and I'm kind of mixing it up because sometimes you get more of one color left than the other when you put it back in the bowl. And I just found that putting it in these bowls, it's so much easier than trying to pour it out of the little jars every single time. And hi, Lana, and trying to get it back in the jars. Hi, Joy. That's really crazy, trying to get it back in the jars because then I just end up making a big giant mess so, um, and that's just me, you know, you could be, you, you could be totally, you know, better at it than I am, but this little handy dandy thing helps too. And if you look for this, this is, um, uh, this is in the bead section in your big box stores. So I don't know what it's called. It's for beads. I don't know. You know, the bead people. <laughs> All right, let's heat this one up and melt that color. Here, I'll put, hold that up for you. looks good now it's those are nice and melted and we're gonna pull these two aside ah bead tray yeah thanks joy <laughs> yeah you know can you tell that I don't really do the whole bead thing yeah I have beads, but you know, 
most of the time. I don't actually string them. I just kind of glue them on my project. <laughs> and yes, you did hear me say I glue them on to my projects. <laughs> All right, so now I've got a clamshell. Another one of my stamps with Technic Junkies. And going on top of there. And this one, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna do this one with the dragon's egg. And I'm gonna try to get it as low as possible on here, but I don't know. I may not get it on perfect. Oh well. It's all good, it's all good. Oh, thank you. All right, that looks pretty good to me. All right, now let's do our, this is the dragon's egg. So this is also from the Magical Mysteries embossing powder line. My line with Emerald Creek. I'm going to go this way, oops. There's still some over here. I want those bubbles to have some powder too. Okay, now what is super cool about the dragon's egg is that it looks like metal once it's done. And I really should have grabbed that sample for you, but I didn't, um, so it's not, I don't have a sample for you here. I had them, I had all of these, and then I took them to a show, and I don't know what happened to the one with the dragon's egg, it disappeared. And I also had a, uh, this is the a fairy wing kit, but this one's on white. I had one on black, too, and that disappeared. These things happen, it shows. Things get misplaced, but that's okay. Um, so it looks like metal when it's dry, when it's once you've melted it, which is a really cool effect. Now, if you're doing this on top of paint like I am, and you start to see your paint bubble, you need to move that heat gun, unless you like the texture, because those bubbles are not going to go away if you if you sit in one area too long. Your paint will bubble up and you will not be able to get rid of that texture. So, you know, hey, if you like that look, go for it. If you don't, make sure to keep that heat gun moving. All right. Oh, that looks super cool. Can you see how it looks metallic, you guys? So it has like a copper or purple feel to it. It's very cool looking. Oh, and Margie's got all the links on there because she's super pro. Thanks, girl. All right, and I'm going to do my um, last one. I want to do this one. It's called Seagrass. Also one of my stamps with Technique Junkies. And we are going to, hmm, hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Ooh, I'm thinking we probably should, let's do this on a piece of paper so that I can quickly cut it out and mask this. Um, it would be nice if I had a piece of paper. You'd think I'd have some, right? <laughs> okay, I'm looking for some paper. Looking for paper. Feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Because you guys are awesome and you're always so friendly to each other. And while I'm looking... Okay, we could use this. This will work. We're going to use this. All right. So let me pull this aside real quick. I just want to stamp this so that we can use the ghosting technique really quickly. And if you are going, what is she talking about? I'm going to show you right now. <laughs> so we're just going to stamp. Actually, you might as well stamp it over here and make it look super cute.
All right, so we've got our, oh, you know, now I have to emboss it just because it's super cute. All right, and now I have to make it sparkly because I have this super cool paper in the background. And so let's use the mermaid fin. Oh, I'm gonna ruin it. I forgot, oh well. Okay, well now I'm gonna have to stamp it again because I'm gonna ruin it and this is so cute. <laughs> oh, the things, you see what happens to me, you guys? I start creating and then I start getting carried away and then I do really cool funky things and then I don't wanna ruin it. So let's just stamp this one more time. Jenny, Jenny. I am doing okay. Okay, where's my scissors? There it is. All right. So, this one I'm going to heat emboss it because it's super cute and I'm going to leave it like that. And this one over here, I'm going to cut it out. Now, I'm not going to cut those little circles. I'm just going to have to get over it. Um, but I am going to cut mostly the shell. That's my main concern right now. I want to make sure that I don't ruin what I've already done on the page. So I just kind of want to um, stamp around it. So, and you'll know what I'm talking about in a second. It's here. And there we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, yeah, that sparkle, that's the mermaid fin embossing powder. Okay, so ghosting. Ghosting is when you take the same shape that you've already, right, we've already stamped it, we've already embossed it here, and we've stamped the same image just on a scrap piece of paper. We're going to set it on here like so. Now, because I want to stamp with this one, with the seagrass, around it and behind it, or I want it to look like it's behind it even though technically it's all the same. And I don't want to cover up my cute little clamshell. So we're gonna stamp, I'm gonna hold this in place, and I'm just gonna stamp, um, let's do it this way. Okay, probably could have done a better job, but you know, whatever. We're just going to roll with it. And holding it down over here. And I don't really want it to run into my jellyfish. And let's do it one more time over here. Okay, so this is when it gets really fun. We're gonna take this clamshell off, right? Because that was just our mask. So you get the idea. These stamper girls are so super fancy with this. Oh, you just got the seagrass one. Okay, cool, good. Um, all right, so we used the dragon's egg on the clam, so we're gonna use the sparkle now. Oh, I'm probably gonna make a big mess here. Okay, I'm gonna try not to make a big mess, but I cannot make any promises because that's just kinda how I roll. All right, so we're just going to add the magical mysteries embossing powder on top. I'm so happy with this line. So so fun. And I hope that if I hope that you guys who have it are using it, I totally want to see what you're doing with it. So make sure if you're pu putting it on social media, I would love to see it. Make sure to tag me at hashtag Rita Barricat or hashtag or you can say at Rita Barricat and I'll get that. Or you can say hashtag Rita Barricat or on Instagram, 
or just hashtag Rita Bear Cat, and I should be able to see it. All right, look at all this goodness. Okay, and we're gonna let that go down. Tap, tap, tap. that back in our, our little jar here, a little mold. Ooh, I just kind of made a mess. Hey, you know, a really cool trick, if you do make a mess with embossing powder and it's mixed or, you know, you just really don't feel like trying to gather it up. Oh, where's that other one? Let's do this one too. Um, a Swiffer, a dry Swiffer, and no, I don't work for Swiffer, um, but a dry Swiffer works really well for embossing powder so you don't get it on your floor or your carpet or whatever, because I have carpet in my studio, which I hate. I would rather, um, you know, sweep it up. In my studio in Colorado, um, I had cement, and that was really, really cool because it was really easy if I spilled something or if I dropped embossing powder or whatever, I could just sweep it up. So what's cool there is we really didn't lose those circles, but we got new circles with the seagrass, the bubbles, the air bubbles. That I don't know if you can tell. Let me see if you can tell how it's melting. It's just you have to watch it because as soon as you see it melt, just move that. You can tell it's subtle. I guess um, well, it depends on the color. Like for this one, it has um, like a clear. And it looks white when it's dry, and when it's melted, it's completely clear. So I know when that, when I don't see any white anymore, then I know it's completely melted. So super duper fun. Let's do this one just for kicks, just because it's cute. Look at how cute that is. I just had a weird thought. I'm like, ooh, you could put a card that says, um, I've been keeping an eye on you, or I don't know, something. Maybe you're more creative than I am. <laughs> um, I was just thinking something encouraging, not something stalkerish. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> the things that I think um so I've got my clam there I've got the seagrass I've got my jellyfish that are gonna glow in the dark I'm probably gonna add a couple more jellyfish and then I'm not sure if I'm going to put a mermaid on top of it or not um because I was really I and we had this just laying on top of here and I'm like oh this kind of looks cool on here too I don't know I might do something like this I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this um so, oh, speaking of really cool things on my desk, just because it has nothing to do with underwater scenes, but I wanted to show you um, some other really cool colors. This is the color shift, the red one, with, on top of Activa Clay. We made this, um, we made these one night on Mixed Media Monday, and I embedded the keys in there. Now, I will tell you, you if you want to hold that in place, you are going to have to glue it. The, it's not, um, it's a very light clay, so it doesn't, it's not strong enough to hold it. But, you know, you have to glue it. But this is the color shift with the dragonfly glaze on top. And I think it looks so pretty. Look at how pretty that looks. Can you see that sparkle? I'm not sure. Hi, Tina. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I know I get crazy ideas. And then this one is the, the color shift, the blue, and then the red on the top and the bottom. Um, without any glaze on top, you can see it's super shiny. 
you know, totally not related. I just wanted to show you because it's here in my hot mess of a desk. Um, but that's what I have for you tonight. So jellyfish, clam, seagrass, we double dip the embossing powder and we, um, yeah, added some fun colors. So uh, we did some layers and some masking. So I hope that you enjoyed this Mix Me Monday. Hi, Billy D. Hi, Don. I didn't see you guys sneak on there. Um, if you missed part of this video or this episode, you might want to rewind and go watch it. I'm just saying. And uh, last of all, I don't uh, don't want to forget, I, we do have a new blog post up today. And it gives you the links because the um, fairies are now in the shop. And so are the... Island Girls are in the shop too, and um, but in color, not in the black and white, but in color. So um, I wanted to tell you about that. And I also want to tell you about classes coming up. If you are in Texas, you might want to check onto my um, website on the classes page and check out the fun classes that, I mean, there are some really fun, fun stuff coming up super soon. And for my online friends, not to worry because I never forget about you and we'll, we will be um, hitting up some online classes um, as soon as I get past that first weekend of um, classes <clears throat> here in Texas. Yeah, because um, it's a lot. <laughs> I'm teaching four classes this year. so um, And when I say I'm teaching four classes, it sounds like not a lot, but it is a lot because it's four classes, but it's three times um, in three days. So yeah, that's uh, 12 classes in three days. That's a lot, um, but it's super fun. We're gonna have lots of giveaways, lots of really fun, fun product to use, and um, lots of fun projects, so make sure you guys check that out on the blog, on my classes page, and Margie's so awesome that she already has the link for you. <laughs> so just look at the link. Alrighty guys, I will see you guys next Monday. Well, maybe I will. Yes, M Monday night at 8 p.m. for Mixed Media Monday. And I am Rita Bearcat. See you guys then. Bye.